In the financial sector, there's always been a lot of surveillance. And we sort of accept as normal that a lot of our transactions just get handed over to the government by default in the U.S. That financial surveillance is being increasingly extended onto cryptocurrency. And the reason that's so interesting is because the entire ethos of the cryptocurrency space was, in fact, to fight against this type of surveillance. As we see that financial surveillance being extended onto cryptocurrency, we have this really interesting moment to reflect on not only whether it makes sense for that surveillance to happen in the crypto space, but also whether it makes sense for it to happen at all, including in the traditional financial system. 